Thank you, Madam Chairman, for holding this hearing. And uh, I want to say I very much appreciate the work of Senator Brasso and his staff in uh, working with us, putting together this bipartisan bill. And I'm incredibly pleased to uh, join um, my colleagues, Senators Gardner, Heidkamp, Hoven, Kane, Capito, Bennett, Toomey, Udall, and Portman uh, uh, in sponsoring this bill. It just doesn't get much more bipartisan than that. Uh, around here these days. So um, as the chair mentioned, our bill follows directly from the work uh, in the last Congress of our former colleague, Senator Mark Udall, and uh, in the House also by our new colleague, Senator Gardner. Uh, and my home state of New Mexico, uh, some of you know, ranks seventh in the nation right now in gas production. Uh, the main gas producing region in New Mexico is the San Juan Basin in the northwest part of the state around the city of Farmington, uh, Aztec. Um, the good news is we have large reserves of natural gas. However, the current surge in gas production has depressed prices to less than $3 per million BTU, negatively impacting the economies of domestic gas producing regions, including northwestern New Mexico. Uh, I fully support the measured and cautious, cautious approach being taken by Secretary Moniz and Assistant Secretary Smith at the Department of Energy. It makes sense for DOE to complete its review of an application for exports to non-FTA countries only after the NEPA review has been completed. In addition, recent studies show that the industry can fully support modest levels of exports of LNG with minimal impacts on consumers while boosting the nation's economic output and jobs in states like Senator Barrasso's and mine. I co-sponsored this bill because I believe it will help stimulate job opportunities for my state's gas industry while fully preserving both FERC's environmental and safety reviews and DOE's determination of public interest, including the authority to approve or deny applications to export LNG to non-FTA countries. Though our bill allows DOE to continue to independently review each application, it will also provide much needed additional certainty and predictability to the industry to market LNG to non-FDA countries in Europe and Asia. The bill will also provide much needed transparency by making available to the public the countries to which LNG has been delivered. Thank you again for holding this hearing and I look forward to hearing from our witnesses today.